हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन एडवांस इक्वल बिलीव मी इफ यू विल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल दी वेरी एंड यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर बेस्ड ऑन एडवांस इक्वल बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस आर इनटू दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट ओनली सो द टॉपिक विच आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विल बी रोज बिटवीन help you to make this much more easy to understand i have a data set ready with me we will be learning each and every concept with the help of this particular data set with the help of a sql query and believe me most of your concepts will be clear so before moving forward do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't because i will be bringing much more videos into lot of different concepts on advanced sql these particular concepts can help you crack your interviews without much further ado let's quickly move to our data set friends you can see this particular data set onto my screen into the column a i have the id into the column b i have the date into the column c i have the number of sales which I Has happened into this particular date, so I have taken some dates here, and the data set is quite small to make you understand much more clearly what is this rows between concept. And I have imported this particular data set into Microsoft SQL Server Studio here, so you can see the data set here. So if you want to know how do we import Excel files into Microsoft SQL Server, you can watch this particular video of mine, which is popping out right now onto your screen. In addition to this, I have also prepared this particular image onto the same data set. So I have just captured, taken a screenshot, and I have prepared this image for you. to help you understand much more clearly about this particular concept so friends let us assume we are just concerned with row number 8 so we'll be operating into row number 8 for now and let us take that as the current row now for example we'll be taking this particular problem so for each row i want to get the total sales that has happened into today's date plus for yesterday's and the next day so for each row i want to get this particular data so what is the data which i want so the data which i want is kind of is equal to so i want the sum of today's sales plus the yesterday's sales and the next day sales and i want this particular data here you can see this particular column i want with the help of sql and we'll be seeing how do we get or use rows between concept to get this particular data set this also comes into the window function concept so you can see for each particular row i'll take here any row i'll take here for example row number as 6 214 i've got here and this is the result of today's sales like this particular day's sales so it is c6 plus c7 just color this to make it much more clearer and so this particular 214 we have got from c6 and from c7 and from c5 so you can see these three cells they make up the sum total and this is the data set which we want into with the help of the sql query and this will be solved using the rows between concept so you can see this particular diagram here so for example this is our current row and we we'll, we want to get our result for the row number as 8 so how will the sql query internally it works or rows between concept internally it works you can see the number of rows which are preceding the current row and we are mentioning that as n preceding similarly the number of rows which are following our current row number of rows we want to operate on following our current row so we'll be taking that into account and that i have mentioned as m following so n and m can be anything it is not necessary that they need to be equal they can be anything a integer value a integer value 1 2 3 we will be understanding this into much more clearly when i'll be writing the sql query for this but the concept i'm just explaining it right now so you can see rows between we have the current row so whichever row which we are operating on will be taking that as the current row and number of rows preceding the current row and number of rows which are following the current row and we will be taking this particular thing into account so for this particular problem which i have defined here i want to get the total sales for each of the row which has happened on to this particular date plus the total sales which has happened on to the previous date and plus the total number of sales which has happened on to the next day so i want to get the data set for each of the rows similarly 
so let us see the sql query for this and how do we use rows between concept or what is the syntax for the rows between concept so i have imported this particular data set i don't know why i'm getting some null values here so let us remove these null values so i'll just mention here where sales i'll just mention any column name is not null let us execute this particular query here so you can see all those null values have vanished let us get the column next to the sales column and this will be the sum total of the number of sales which has happened on to that particular date plus the so total number of sales which has happened yesterday plus the total number of sales which has happened on to the next day so let us see the sql query for this so i'll just mention here a comma and i'll be using the sum function because we are summing up the sales so sum over sales okay and then over and then we need to mention our order by clause now why do we need to mention the order by clause and why it is necessary to mention this because first of all let us say our data set is very much unorganized into this particular case the data set is organized into date wise like the very first date is coming into the very first row similarly the next days are following but let us say our data set was very much unorganized but because we want to get our total sales amount basis on the yesterday's date and the next date we need to order our data set onto the basis of the date column so first of all our data set will be organized or into a increasing order onto the date column and then the operations would happen so that is what we need to tell our query that first of all organize our data set onto the basis of the date column and then operate onto them so let us move back to our query here so we are telling our code to order by date so first of all all the dates would come up they would be organized in increasing order now the magic the rows between thing will come into action so rows between we need to mention here so we want to get the previous day just the previous day so if we we'll look at this particular image what is the value of n value of n is 1 so we'll be writing here one preceding and similarly we want to get the just the next date what is the value of m which we need to mention or m following so the value of m is also 1 because we just need to get the next row to today's date row so i'll be mentioning here as 1 following and between this we need to mention and also and that's all i'll just move this to the next row and i'll close the bracket here let us rename this column as total sales today yesterday and next day so i'm just mentioning this column name to make it much more clear what is this column which we are calculating let us execute this code let us see if we're getting our final query so you can see i have got my final answer here and for each row i have got this particular answer like the sum total sales of today's date yesterday's date and the next date i have got for each particular row here let us match some of the results which we have got is correct or not so for sixth row it is 201 and for the next row it is 189 let us match uh, this particular result so you can see for sixth row it is 201 and 189 and 189 so friends this is how we need to use the rows between function which is present into sql and with help of this particular thing you will be able to solve most of the questions which are asked into the interviews and also into the advanced sql so we use this a lot of many times so these particular thing which is one and one these not to be equal you can mention anything let us say you want to get the sum total of the sales which has happened on to the two days before the two days date plus two days date sales plus the total number of sales three days from now so into that particular case our preceding value n preceding value will become 2 because we want to get two rows above the present row or the current row so into that particular case it will be 
a two preceding and three following because from the current row i want to get three rows below the current row so that means three following so let us get the output for uh, this particular query as well so i'll just mention here two preceding and three following and we'll be verifying our result into the excel sheet also so you can see we have got uh, some of our results just for a particular cell i'll just do this so we wanted two rows before this so i've got in two rows and three rows below this so that's all and i'll hit enter so for sixth row i've got or the row number seven i've got 403 so let us verify cross verify the result so you can see for the sixth row i've got the answer as 403 so friends this is the concept of rows between now you will tell me ashtosh is there any method to get the total number of rows which is present above the current row and the total number of rows which are present the below the current row so i want to take the action or operate onto all the rows for each of the current row for example taking this particular current row and you want to operate into all those rows which are above the current row and into all those rows which are below the current row now you, you will tell me how do i know like how many rows are into my data set and for each particular row it is very cumbersome to mention the integer value the exact integer value for each of the row so for example for these cases we are just mentioning here two and three values or one value but if you want to get the total number of rows which are present before the current row or the total number of rows which are present after the current row how do we tackle this particular problem so we tackle this particular problem by using this particular syntax here which is unbounded preceding and unbounded following so let's say you don't know how many rows will be present before the current row and how many rows will be present after the current row so you can just mention this particular syntax here unbounded preceding and unbounded following so it will give the sum total of the total data set for each of the row let us tackle this particular problem also so friends i'll just mention here instead of two i'll be mentioning here unbounded preceding and unbounded following so i'll just execute this particular query so you can see for each of the row i've got the exact number here that is 830 and will tell me ashush what is this 830 so this 830 is actually the sum total of the total sales that has happened into all of these days so i'll just select this particular data set here so you can see the sum here it is coming out as 830 here. this is the use of the unbounded preceding and unbounded following so we use this particular concept like this so friends i hope this particular video was very much helpful to you so do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information and i'll be bringing much more videos into advanced sql to make these concepts these high level concepts into much more simple manner so friends meet you in the next video with lot of different concepts thank you so much bye